Upon your arrival to the scene, you observe the patient as he or she goes into respiratory arrest and becomes unresponsive. A palpable carotid pulse is still present. Bystander ventilations have not been initiated. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problem is found. Takes or verbalizes body substance isolation precautions. Scene safety BSI. Opens the airway manually. Elevates tongue, insert simple adjunct. Examiner now informs the candidate no gag reflex is present and patient accepts the adjunct. Ventilates patient immediately with bag valve mask unattached to oxygen. Ventilates patient with room air. Examiner now informs candidate that ventilation is being performed without difficulty and that pulse oximetry indicates the patient blood oxygen saturation is 85%. Attaches oxygen reservoir to bag valve mask device and connects to high flow oxygen regulator. 12 to 15 liters per minute. Ventilates patient at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute with appropriate volumes. After 30 seconds, examiner auscultates and reports breath sounds are present and equal bilaterally and medical direction has ordered insertion of a supraglottic airway. The examiner must now take over ventilation. Directs assistant to pre-oxygenate patient. Can you pre-oxygenate the patient please? Sure. Checks, prepares supraglottic airway device. Checking for leaks, no leaks. Lubricates distal tip of the device. Examiner to remove OPA and move out of the way when candidate is prepared to insert device. I'm prepared to insert the device. Positions head properly. Performs a tongue jaw lift. Inserts device to proper depth. Secures device inpatient. Inflates cuff with proper volumes and immediately removes syringe or secures strap. Ventilates patient and confirms proper ventilation. Correct lumen and proper insertion depth by auscultation bilaterally over lungs and over epigastrum. I'm pulling out as I ventilate until I see chest rise and fall. I'm going to ask my partner to ventilate so I can auscultate. Auscultating for epigastric sounds and lung sounds. Adjust ventilation as necessary. Ventilates for additional lumen or slightly withdraws tube until ventilation is optimized. Verifies tube placement by secondary confirmations such as capnography or capnometry. The examiner must now ask the candidate, how would you know if you were delivering appropriate volumes with each ventilation? 
looking for bilateral equal chest rise and fall. Secures device or confirms the device remains properly secured. The device is properly secured. Ventilates patient at proper rate and volume while observing capnography, capnometry, and pulse oximeter. 